Hey, on this HPE Tech Talk, I am going to revisit an issue that I did a while ago on my podcast. And uh, I'm Calvin Zito. You can find me on Twitter as IT Godfather, and you can find me on LinkedIn if you want to engage with me directly. But on this video, I've got Malcolm Ferguson. Malcolm, I love the conversations we've had in the past. Why don't you tell people a little bit about what you do and uh, what your experience is with doing what you do? So uh, I'm a hybrid cloud distinguished technologist at HPE. I've been with the company uh, a little over 15 years. Uh, and I have a background in co-location. I used to work for um, a co-location provider uh, that did cloud in the co-location facility. So um, about uh, four and a half years ago, I was part of an effort to incorporate co-location into GreenLake. And so that's been my passion. Uh, we've had tremendous success. And with this whole AI craze, it's becoming more and more of a requirement for the workload. So I'm happy to be talking to you about that today. Yeah, and I'm glad to have you because I know you had a session at Discover where you talked about um, hybrid cloud and AI. I maybe, I'm hoping you can answer this question because one of the things I really want to understand better, and I'm sure our, our, our customers do, is why is hybrid cloud a good choice for AI? I, I realize that there's you want to protect your data, you want to protect your models, mm -hmm. but What's the bottom line? Why why should somebody be using hybrid cloud versus all on premises or all in the cloud? Sure, and, and I I never trust a company who tries to convince me of something or sell me of something unless they do it themselves. And so another one of my my side gigs at HPE is I get to share with our customers how our own IT team runs hybrid cloud in production. We have over eight megawatts of colo space that we use as a company to power our hybrid cloud, which includes SAP, our private cloud VM as a service, containers as a service, our enterprise analytics platform, our data lakes. And now we're building out GPU as a service in those colo cages because it's two or three times less to run those workloads in a colocation facility than in any public cloud. But I can be literally next door to the public cloud providers and just run a simple cross connect into my private colo cage. So it's truly having your cake and eating it too. And when we talk about AI, I mean, these are workloads that are big. These are big workloads, obviously, because there's a lot of compute power going into it, all the data that goes into it. And we've announced some solutions at Discover that, you know, their t-shirt sizes, we'll call them small, medium, large, and extra large. Talk a little bit about that and, and why you see co-location of some of these AI workloads as being a real advantage for customers. So, you know, the, the offerings that we announced at Discover are really the, the entry level uh, GPU platforms, right? To where you have eight kilowatts or um, up to 30 kilowatt racks air cooled. Um, often I'm involved with customer conversations where they're requiring 60 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt liquid cooled racks for the solution. So uh, the, the point is, is that HPE is the leader in supercomputing. You can look it up. We have the top supercomputers on the planet and all of them are all 100% liquid cooled for a reason. And they require larger PDUs in the racks for a reason. They're more efficient. They save a lot of money. So the point is, is that you know, we can do air cooled, we can do liquid cooled, we can start small and we can go to the largest supercomputers on the planet. However, when you get past the small and medium, you hit a wall, you hit a power and cooling wall. That's where colocation comes into play. Also, you need to connect those GPU farms to certain cloud services, things that only belong or run in the public cloud. A colocation has the big pipes, the low latency to those cloud services. So everybody's happy. It's a wonderful place for the workload. And you kind of alluded to this, but I think an important point to make and maybe reemphasize is that these colocations are really close to public cloud. Yeah. So customers have this access of low latency to public cloud at these colocations. Talk about that. And why is that important? So um, every few weeks, I get to bring a customer into one of our co-location cages here in Dallas, Texas. And it's our DR cage, so we're allowed to go in there with the customer. And as I approach the cage, which is a cage that holds around 300 racks of infrastructure, running our core IT services, again, SAP, Enterprise Analytics, 
I can touch with my hands our cage and one of the major public cloud providers. And I tell the salespeople, I go, come over here, look at this, touch these two cages. This is how close I can get GreenLake to a public cloud, six feet. I can literally get you six feet to a major public cloud provider. Our co-location partners encompass over 600 data centers around the world. That means I can put your GPU workloads, your AI workloads anywhere in the world next to any cloud provider in the world, all as a turnkey service. GreenLake with co-location is cloud first. It's just private cloud per first. It's a, it's a private pool where you can touch the public pool, but you can put your firewall in between and protect your crown jewels of data in that private pool. So I remember from the last podcast we did, um, you talked that just about in every situation, and I think at the time it was 100%, that running in a co-location is cheaper than running in a public cloud, mm -hmm. at least an exclusive apples to apples look at that. You know, we're talking about large GPU implementations, especially with AI, but there's other things that come into play. Can you still make a promise like that or at least get really close to what customers are looking at when they talk about public cloud? And yeah, that's a great question, Calvin. And that was also brought up in my Discover session. And I told the audience, and by the way, we were the third most popular AI session at Discover as far as a breakout. Um, I told the audience, please let us size your workloads. Let us size your hybrid estate, whether it's a VM as a service, container as a service, GPU or AI as a service. Let us size that for you and price it in a co-location facility in the city of your choice. And then let's reach out to you know, the public cloud provider of your choice for the exact same workload. Time and time again, our customers come back to us and say, you're two, three, four, five, sometimes six times less expensive. The dirty little secret with the public cloud providers is they're often buying our hardware and putting it in a co-location facility in a shared cage, a shared data hall, and offering that back to the customer at a premium. Why would you pay for that when you can get your own private version of it for less? So I just let customers know and partners know, let us go size it for you at no cost and price it for you so you can at least use it as a negotiating tool, right? To go back and say, look, you're more expensive and therefore you must be more expensive for other workloads, lower my bill. Okay, so for the customer that you have now whetted their appetite on this idea of co-location, how can they engage with HPE to learn more and see if it makes sense for them? Right. Um, first of all, you reach out to your GreenLake sales team. Uh, GreenLake with co-location is a purely GreenLake offering. You can run in the co-location third-party hardware and software. It's not 100% GreenLake stuff in the cage. You can put an IBM you know, AS400 in the cage. You can put third-party firewalls and load balancers. If you require a certain network vendor only, that can be in the cage, that's not a problem. Uh, but your GreenLake sales rep is who you start with. And then they will engage our data center advisory team and the rest of the Colo team to start to begin to size and design the various workloads that you wanna run in the co-location facility. We'll also help you pick the right co-location facility in the city of your choice, the country of your choice, and that gives you that flexibility for you know, lowering egress and data sovereignty. So we've been doing this for four and a half years now. We've literally sold hundreds of millions of dollars of customers with GreenLake with co-location. Federal customers, you can look up you know, the NSA, Project Wild and Stormy. Uh, that's a co-location customer. So we can do very small and we can do very, very large, mission critical, very secure workloads, all as a service. So just reach out to your GreenLake rep. Great. Well, always love talking to you, Malcolm. Let's not wait so long to do the next conversation. And uh, thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Calvin. Here's a clickable link back to hpe.com where you can learn more. And here's a video that YouTube thinks you're really going to like. And don't miss another video. Hit the subscribe button now. Thanks for joining me on this Tech Talk.